Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Everything concerning God is great. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. He's powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ashada. Radius, you are holy one. Wake up on the sea, you raise the dead. You really majesty, mighty one. Written, written about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one, walk upon the sea, you raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty one. Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great. So you are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great. Mm -hmm. You are great. Great, you are great. Everything written about you is great. Am I Eliana? You are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. What a great God that we serve. Everything concerning Him is great. Everything concerning him is wonderful. Everything concerning him is beautiful. What a great God. What a wonderful God. Worship him because he's worthy. As we lift our name high. Mm -hmm. Everything written about you is great. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. Worship him with me. Worship him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised and he's worthy to be adored. Ha! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you alone is worthy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. This great Trample out the present One and mighty God we serve Glory, glory, hallelujah Everything written about you is great Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you that you have come to join me in faith this afternoon, or rather this morning, or this evening, wherever you are. I welcome you in the name of God. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Ibu, God bless you. God bless you for joining us. God bless you for joining us. God bless you for joining us. You are all welcome. You are all welcome. You are all welcome. Today we are going to be talking about topic. Washing off your hand. Wash your hand off. That is our topic this morning. Wash your hand off. As a Christian, as a believer, wash your hand off. We are going to be looking at washing off your hands. But before then, we are going to pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt you for who you are. 
We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all adoration. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for making it possible for us to be in your presence again. Father, we say, may your name may Lord be held and lifted above other names in the name of Jesus. In our lives, we say thank you. In the life of our children, husband, wife, we say thank you. In the life of our loved ones, thank you, Lord, for keeping watch. You watch over us. We say thank you. You do not allow the enemy to triumph over us. Baba, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the new day. Thank you, Lord, for making it possible for us to sleep and I wake up to see another morning. Oh, Jesus, we say thank you. What a privilege. What a privilege that you have given to us. Father, we thank you for this wonderful privilege that you have given to us. We say, may your name, may Lord, be highly lifted above other names in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. All the beautiful people of God. I welcome you once again. As I said, this afternoon or this morning or this evening, wherever you are, depends on where you are watching from. We are going to look at the word topic, washing off your hands. Wash off your hands from evil. When I mean, when I say wash off, and I mean that, I mean to say that you have to wash off, wash off your hands from evil. You have to wash up your hands. So anything that you know, it does not please God. As a believer, as a Christian, whosoever you think you are, what I want you to do, I just want you to wash off your hands. Be pure before God. Be clean before God. That is what I just want you to do. And we are going to be taking a series. We are going to be looking at series of the Bible, by the special grace of God, this afternoon. And I want to tell you that there is a need for you as a believer to, 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 to remain righteous, to live a right life, to live right with God. There is a need for you to do that because why? We don't know where we are going right now. Jesus is coming very soon. We need to get ourselves prepared. We need to know, we need to have it in the back of our mind that the end time is near. The time that God is coming is very, very close. The time is very, very close. For you to get yourself prepared, there are things that you need to wash your hand off. There are things that you ought not to do as a believer. There are things that you need to be far from as a believer. By the special grace of God, this afternoon, I'm not going to take much of our time, but I'm going to go straight to the point. The Bible make me to understand the book of Matthew, Matthew 27. The Bible said that when they were about to crucify Jesus, they brought him to, a, uh, to, to the uh, pallet. Do you know what the man did? When the man saw that the, so the, 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 the people, the, the, the multitude, he cannot be able to overcome the multitude. He saw that the multitude, the, the, the voice of the multitude is high. What does this man do? He decided to take a bowl of water. He washed up his and said, for this one, this very one, I am not a partaker of it. That is what I want you to do as a believer. Stop following multitude. Stop following the people. Because they say people, everybody is doing it you want to do it. Everybody, because this person did it and he prospered with it, you want to do it. It's not everything that you say that somebody is doing that is right. Sometimes, they may be doing a thing, it seems good, but it is not right. Somebody might be doing a thing that is, you look at it, this thing is very good, but it is not right. So, my brothers and my sisters, I, want, I come to tell you this afternoon, this time is not the time for you to follow multitude. This time is not the time for you to follow public. This time is not for you to follow because maybe there are many. No, this is a time for you as a believer to stand out. This is a time for you as a believer to wash off your hands. This is a time for you to stand far from them. You must not do what they are doing. You must not go with them because... Because they are all going, you want to go with them. Because you don't even know where they are going. The people that you are following, they may be going to, to fall into a dish. They may, be, they may be going to fall into a hole. And you now, you are following them. You don't need to follow multitude. You don't need to follow people. I want you to stand out. Stand out as a believer. 
When they brought Jesus, he said, no, my hand is not in this one. This man is a just. I did not see any, any reason to justify this man. I did not see any reason to crucify this man. I did not see any reason to say this man have done something bad. He washed off his hand. He washed off his hand. This is a time for you to wash off your hand from that evil. This is a time for you to wash your hand away from wickedness. This is a time for you to wash your hands off. Wash your hands off. Don't do what others are doing. Don't do it because you see bad people are doing it. You are different. I want to tell you that you are special. You are heavily made. You are specially made. Therefore, you must not do what others are doing. No. Because if you really know who you are, if you know that you are special to God, if you know that your soul is so special to God, you need to stand out. There is a need for you to stand out in the midst of all, in the midst of multitude, in the midst of congregation, in the midst of assembly, stand out. Stand out and become the different person that God wants you to be. Stand out, wash your hands off. Wash your hands off. The time is now. Tomorrow may be too late. The time is now. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow will may be too late for you. Tomorrow may be too late for you. The time is now. The very time is now for you to stand aside. For you to stand far from that which they are doing. You must not do it. You must not. You must not, child of God. It's time for you to wash off your hands. Praise Master Jesus. Our Lord is indeed good. Turn with me to the book of Matthew, Mark. Sorry. Book of Mark. Let's see what the Bible tells us. Let's see what the Bible tells us. The book of Mark. Mark chapter 7. Hallelujah. Are we there? Let's read. I read from, I read, let's, let's take it from 19 so that we'll know what we are talking about here. I want us to read from 19 so that we'll know what we are talking about. Hallelujah. Because it does not enter the heart, but its stomach and eliminates that pu eliminate thus purifying all food. Look at 20. What comes out of a man that defied a man? Hmm. What comes out of a man that is what defied a man? What comes out from you? That is what we, that would defy you. Listen to this. From from within, out of the heart of man, proceed, proceed evil thoughts. Look at this. Proceed evil thoughts. Out of the heart. Out of your own heart. Proceed what? Evil thoughts. You begin to conceive evil. You begin to conceive wickedness. You begin, you begin from your heart. You begin to conceive what you don't need to be conceiving as a child of God. It's from your heart. Bottom of your heart. They all come from inside. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. What come out from a man? What come out from a man? What come out from a man that defied a man? For from within out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, adultery, fornication, murders, thief, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, loneliness, and evil eyes. Blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. All these evil things come out from within and defy the man. Come out from within and defy the man. That is what the Bible says. What you conceive in your heart, what you harbor in your heart, that is what will defy you. That is the thing that will defy you. So, child of God, there is a need for you to stand out. When we talk about Adultery. 
We talk, because there are many people they are committing adultery that do not see anything wrong with it. You are sleeping with another man's wife. You are sleeping with another woman's wife. I see some people sleeping even... Oh, Jesus, help us here. Jesus, just help me here because when I begin to see some kind things, when I begin to see, my, my, my mind begins to say, what, the, what, what kind of Bible these people are reading? I, I, I was watching and a, 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 a program that the, the person was saying that God had revealed to him for him to sleep with a woman on top of the altar. What? What? What are we saying? You are committing an adultery in the front of the congregation and you do not see anything wrong with it. Jesus. Jesus. You are committing an adultery in the front of congregation and people are saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah, right on, right on. What is this? What, 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 we are, we, I don't know the Bible that we are reading. I don't know where their Bible come from. God revealed to you for you to begin to sleep with another man's wife. God revealed to you for you begin to touch another man's wife. Jesus, you are taking an advantage. Probably out of ignorance, she is believing, believing God for the, the fruit of the womb. It comes out of ignorance. It comes to you. You begin to take an advantage. Turn away. Turn away because tomorrow may be too late. Turn away. Turn away. It is time for you to set your own record right. I am not going to do that for you. You will not do mine for me. I am the one to carry my own cross. You are the one to carry your own cross. But this is the right time for you to turn away from your evil deed. Because it is what you conceive from your heart that will defy you. Stop committing an adultery with other women's wife, with other man's husband. Stop it. Stop it. Fornicating with another man's wife, fornicating with another woman's. Stop it. Stop it. It is not the right thing to do. Your friend is doing it does not mean that you must do it. People are doing it does not mean that you are doing it. As I said, you are special to God. You are peculiar to God. Your soul is special to God. If you know who you are, you must not do what people are doing. If you know who you are, you must not follow the multitude. Stand out. Wash your hands off from evil. Because why? It's not going to help you. It will not talk you to anywhere. Stand out, child of God. Wash your hands off. We talk about mother. I come to tell, let me surprise you here. It's not everybody that carry a gun that shoots that is called mother. There are many people, many of us, we kill with our mouth. Many of us, we kill with our eyes. The way you will look at the person, you will use your eye to just to kill the person. You communicate, you talk about somebody, even you don't. Ah, let's assume you know this person so well. Let's assume you know this person so well and you know that people are talking about the person. Instead of you to keep your mouth shut, you will be the one to ask Maggie, shut everything that you need to kill the person. Stop killing. Stop it. Turn away. Turn away from gossip. Turn away from bite biting. Turn it, turn away. Stop killing people with your mouth. Stop killing people with your even you with your own behavior. Sometimes with your dressing, behavior, attitude, to kill people. You are killing people every day unknowingly to you. Stand out. Stand out. It's a time for you to stand out. This is a time for you to wash off your hands. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. For you to be able to succeed, you need to stand out. You need to wash yourself. Hallelujah. You need to wash yourself. Stop it. Stop blasphemy. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Because this thing is not going to help us. It will not talk us anywhere. Hallelujah. It will not take us anywhere. 
Jesus help us. May God help us. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah. If you have your Bible with you there, turn with me to the book of Isaiah, child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. But I, this is not a matter of joke. This is a time for us to get serious. This is a time. The book of Matthew, the book of Luke, he talk about it. He said, time will come. Kingdom will be fighting against kingdom. Sickness, pestilence everywhere. Earthquake everywhere. The many signs the Bible talks about. We have seen it. And we are still seeing it. Look at where we are today. Look at where we are today. My dear brothers and sisters, this is not a joke. It's a time for us to get serious with our life. It is time for us to get serious with the things of God. This is the right time for us to turn away from evil deed. This is the right time. This is the right time. To, you may not have tomorrow. Because we don't know what is going to happen next. You are alive today. You sleep and you wake up. This one is a privilege. It's a privilege. You don't know what tomorrow will be. Whether today and when you sleep, whether you are going to wake up tomorrow, you may not know. So the time is now. The hour is now. It's now, not tomorrow. Now. As I'm talking to you, it's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. Hallelujah. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 1. Amen. I read from 16. Wash yourself. Make yourself clean. Look at what the Bible says. Wash yourself. Make yourself clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Mm. Mm. The Bible says that you should wash yourself. Wash yourself. We are not talking about taking your bath. No. Wash yourself. Stay away from evil. That is what we are talking about. Stay away from wickedness. That is what we are talking about. Stay away from the things that you know it does not please God. That is what we are talking about. That is what we are talking about. The Bible says, I say, wash yourself. Make yourself clean and put away evil from, the, from your doings before my eyes. Before you come to the presence of God, before his very own eyes, so you should be what? Be clean. That is to say, we are not even worthy to stand before him. We are not worthy to mention that name, Jesus. But we, we have the mercy, the mercy of God. That is why we are still, we would mention that day we will go cause free. The grace that is upon our life, that is why when we mention the name, we will just go. But there is a need for us to stand and be clean before him. There is, a, there is a need for us to live a righteous life. You may not be perfect, but you have to walk towards it. Walk towards it. Yes, nobody is perfect, we know, but walk towards it. And God will be the one to make you perfect. Yes. He said, before my very eye, wash yourself clean. Turn away from your evil. Turn away from your evil. It says, the Bible says, cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. That is to say, stop it. Stop it. That thing that you know that you are doing, stop it. That does not please God. Stop it. Stop it. Number 17, the Bible says, let to do good. Learn to do good, seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. Hallelujah. When I begin to study this word, my head begins to say, God, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, especially we that call ourselves a believer. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. He said we should learn how to do what to do good. Do good to others. What you know that you don't want somebody to do to you, don't do it to another person. What you know that when you do it and it's going to, when, you, when somebody do it to you, it's going to hurt you. Don't do it for another person. Don't do it. Turn away. This is a time for you to turn away. 
This is a time for you to learn how to do good things. This is a time. This is a time. Child of God, this is the right time. This is the right time. This is the right time. He said, rebuke the oppressor and defend the fatherless and plead for the widow. Hallelujah. When I look at what is going around within us, within the, the building where we call church, instead of us to defend the fatherless, instead of us to defend the widow, instead of us to do good will for them, instead of us to help them, but we are the one taking from them. We are the one who, Oh, Jesus, help us. We are the one even make them to suffer the more. We call ourselves believer. We call ourselves Christian. We are taking the, the, the poor widow that we're supposed to help. We are taking the little that he has, she has. We are taking it from her to enrich ourselves. To enrich ourselves. Why? Why, child of God? Why? Why, child of God, why? Child of God, why? We are supposed to be the defender of these people. We are supposed to help them. We are supposed to be their voice where they are voiceless. We are supposed to be their helper where they are helpless. But this time around, it is a, it's a, we turn it around. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. Rather, we are using our, their glory to shine. And we say we are believers. We say we are believers. We are men or women of God. We are children of God. We say we are believers. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we making the poor to be poorer and making the rich to be richer? The Bible said that we should learn how to do good. We should defend the fatherless. We should plead for the widow. But this time around, we do not do what the Bible says. We do the other way around. We do it the other way around. Doing what is not evil in the word of God. We turn the Bible upside down. Why? Where is those, these things, everything that we are struggling to have now? Everything that we are getting now, we have this, we have that. Even when you take the poor widow, you took the glory of the poor widow, you are using it to shine. Where is it going to take you to? When you die tomorrow, are you taking those things along with you? When you die tomorrow, are they going to bury you inside your private jets? When you die tomorrow, are you taking your mansion with you? When you die tomorrow, are they taking your jeep with you? When you die tomorrow, those gold that you think, ah, I have it all, are they going to take it with you? Are you going to heaven with it? Are you going to meet God with it? We don't need those things there. The Bible says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. You do not need all these things. This, this house that you think is a mansion here is nothing before God. So stop doing evil. Stop using the people that you are supposed to help. The people that you are supposed to defend. Stop using their glory. Stop using their destiny. Turn away, child of God. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away from that evil deed. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. Look at what the Bible says. When you turn away, when you put those things aside, look at number eight. He said, come now and let us reason. Oh, hallelujah. When I study this place, I begin to have this excitement. I begin to say, God, you are a wonder. He said, when you turn away, when you not put those things aside, when you not begin to live a rightful life, when you not live rightly, you live righteously. He said, now come to me, let us reason together. One on one, you begin to communicate with him. When you not turn away from that evil deed, when you not left those things aside, they say, come, come now, come. Come and let us reason together, says the Lord. You want to reason with God? You want to, you want to communicate with God? You want God to recognize you? Let me shock you here. Is many of us are saying, God, 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 Jesus, Jesus. Do you know that it is not all of what God recognizes? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it is not all that say Jesus, Jesus, God, 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 that God recognizes. There are so many believers, many believers, top, top men or women. God does not, God does not recognize them. He do not know them. He said, tell me, can you say, I, I cast a demon off with your name. He said, go, go, go away, I know you not. There are many believers. God does not know them. So child of God, do you want to reason with God? Do you want God to know you? Do you want to have this relationship with God? Do you want to have this intimacy with God? Turn away. Turn away. There is a need for you to turn away. There is a need for you to live a righteous life. There is a need for you to be clean. There is a need for you to be clean. So that when you now sit down and communicate with God, he will hear, he will give you listening ear. When you are sitting there, he will sit down with you. When you stand, he will stand with you. Why? Do you know the reason why? Because why you are living a righteous life. You are living rightly. You are doing what he said he, you should do. You are doing what he said you should do. That is what the Bible says. It says you should turn away and come. Let's reason together. Let's reason together. Let's see the book of James. Let's see the book of James. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. James chapter 4. Eight. Let's read eight and ten. He said, draw near to he said, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your heart, you double-minded, lament and mourn and weep, lament. Your laughter be turned to let your laughter be turned to mourning. And your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. Hallelujah. Are you looking for an upliftment? Are you looking for an upliftment? Do you want God to lift you up? This is what you are going to do. He said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. When you are close to him, he will be close to you. When you are far, he will be far from you. Do you want God to be close to you? The only thing that you can make him to be close to you is for you to live a righteous life. He said, clean yourself from sin. That is the word of God. It is, it's not my word. It's yet. He said, clean yourself from sin. Clean yourself. Clean yourself. Clean yourself. The Bible says that you said, it's a lament. Lament. Let him know that you are sorry. Let him know that you are sorry for your sin. Let him know that you know. Let him know that you have done wrong in his sight. You have gone astray in his sight. Let him know that. He said, by the time you now humble yourself, I come. And come to me. You now humble yourself and come to me. And in my very sight, he said, I will lift you up. I will lift you up. What are you looking for? You cannot serve God and remain who you are. If you are serving God and you remain who you are, check your life. You are not doing what you are supposed to do. There are things that you need to put aside. There are things that you need to let go. If you are a believer, you don't have a testimony. You don't have not have a past life that, that tells us you were, I was once like this. I was once like that. Check yourself. There are many believers, you still remain where you are. You do not want to turn away from your evil way. You do not want to turn away from that thing that you have been doing that does not give you answer. The things that you have been doing that does not give you answer, you do not want to turn away from it. Hallelujah. My husband will say, my beloved husband, he will say, you can say you you cannot serve God and you say you are serving God. You are doing what all the all thing that you were doing before and you, you are expecting a change. You say you will not see change. You will be doing all thing that you are doing 
and you are expecting a change in your life. You will not see change. There are things that you need to change for you to change. Hallelujah. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about here. There are things that you need to change for, he, for you to have a change in your life. There are lifestyles that you need to let go. There are characters that you need to let go. There are behavior that you need to let go for you to have a change in your life. For you to meet with God one or one, there are things that you need to let go. Evil things that you know that you are doing, that you are not doing right, turn away from it. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. We are looking for an upliftment. We are looking for an upliftment. We want to be on top. We want to be on top. But we don't want to do what God wants us to do. We, just look, we are looking for a quick way. That is why many of us, we fall into the hands of the evil one. We always fall into their hand. Because why? We don't have the patience to study our Bible. We don't have the patience to seek God by our own self. We don't have that patience. That patience is not in us. Why can't you study the word of God and get your own understanding? You are misled every day because that, you lack patience. You lack patience. You lack patience. That is what you are lacking. You are lacking patience. That is what you are falling victim. But somebody will tell you, bring so, 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 a man before you to be. Why? God said, the, the, the Bible make me to only say, free, I give to you. Free, freely you shall give. He said, free, I give to you. Freely you shall give. Why, somebody, why will you allow somebody to be deceiving you? Why will you allow somebody to be deceiving your child of God? There is a time. This is the right time. This time that we are right now is a time for you to wake up from your slumber. And turn away from the ways of wickedness. Turn away from that evil deed. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you and it will not, it will not take you to anywhere. Rather, you are adding more problems to your problem. You are heaping them up. I just want you to recognize who you are. If you do not know who you are, I want you to know. After this message, begin to sit down and begin to say, who am I? I come to tell you that you are special. You are a special child. You are special in the sight of God. There is nothing wrong with you. The only little thing that you can do is just for you to turn away from that thing. That little thing that you think that you are doing it and you feel that it's giving you joy. But in your own, inside, deep inside you, you know it's not right. Because you, divide, you derive joy in it, you are doing it, but you know it is not the right thing. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away, child of God. I'm riding up. Turn away. Quickly, lastly, let's go to the book of John. I will round it up with this. You know, I said, I'm not going to take much of your time. Hallelujah. Our Lord is indeed a good God. I want you to be saved. And on the last day, I want you to be saved. And you shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Turn with me to the book of John 15. John 15, I round up with this. 3 to 5. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. You see, God have already made you clean. But you are the one that decides not to be clean. You just decide because you don't want to be clean. You don't, know, you don't want to turn away from those things that you are doing. God have already made you pure. But you decide to live inside, the, inside evil. You decide to live inside wickedness. You decide just to live like that. Why, child of God? Why God have said in his word that you are already clean? Why do you, why do you derive happiness in making yourself dirty before him? He has given you, he, 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 he said, I have clean, you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. That is to say, you have to put in his, his word in your head, in your mind. Let the word of God be a part of you. Let it guide you. Let the word of God correct you. The word of God is for correction. The word of God is, for guide, is to guide us. Hallelujah. 
There is a need for you to turn away from that thing that you know it does not please God. You know it. You know it. If you are, as we are hearing the sound of my voice, you know it. Please, children of God, turn away because God has said it that you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken. So stop being where you are. Stop be, stop st stop bringing you are taking you are, it's as if you are taking God backward. No, you are taking God backward. God, God will make God though. Whether you turn away, whether you do not want to turn away, whether you enjoy doing evil, you do not want to repent, he's still God. He remain God. You cannot turn him back. He remain God. It's for your own good. It is for your own good. Just that he does not want you to prosper. He does not want you to, 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 to he does not want you to, to destroy in hell. No, that is not a thought that he has for you. That is not the thought of God. The thought of God for you is for you to be saved. For you to be saved. He said, the thought that I have for you is for good, not of evil. To take you to an expected end. That is the thought of God for you. So why, child of God, you, race, you, you decide not to live a righteous life? Why do you decide not to turn away where God has already made you clean? Hallelujah. He said, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, or else it abide in the vein. Neither can you, or else you abide in me. That is the word of God. You can do nothing without him, or else you abide in him, or else you realize that he is the creator of the heaven and earth or else you realize that he is the owner of your soul abide in him and he also will abide in you because why you have you will not see a tree that will bear its fruits just by himself the tree the branches the vein everything need to come together for the for the tree to succeed Everything needs to come together for the, for the tree to succeed. So for you to succeed, you need to come together with God. You need to be in one accord with God. That is a need. That is a need. The Bible says, it says, I am the vein and you are the branches. He who abide in me and I in him bear much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. He said it all. Without him, you can do nothing. Without God, we, we, go, we are going nowhere. So it is time for you to rise on your feet and begin to recognize him as your Lord and personal Savior. Because on the last day, it is only him that will save you. It is only him that will save you. Me, I can't save you. Your mother cannot save you. Your sister cannot save you. It is only God that will save you. Your husband will not save you. Your wife will not save you. It is only God that will save you. So stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time by doing that wish that you know it does not please him. Turn away, child of God. Wash your hands off evil. Wash your hands off evil. There is a need for you to wash off your hands. There is a need for you to say bad, bad to evil. There is a need for you to wash your hands from doing wicked things. For hurting another, the Bible said that we should love one another. It did not say we should hate one another. It did not say we should hate one another. It said love one another. Where is the love that we are talking about today? Where is the love? Where is the love that we are talking about? There is a need for us to love one another, for, to care for one another. For us to come back, come back home. God is calling us home. God is, tell, is telling us to come back. God is telling us to come back. God is telling us to, there is a need for that, my dear brothers and sisters. We are so, many of us, we are still very far from him. We are still very far. This time that we are, this season that we are, the only thing that we need is God. It is only Him that we see us through. It is only Him that we protect us. It is only Him that we bring the healing that we deserve. It is only Him. Sure, all these things will pass. It will come and will pass. But for it to come and pass, we need God. 
We need God by our side. Day in, day out, we need God. Not just, I don't want you to just sit at home without doing nothing. You have a family of two, you have a family of three, you have a family of five. The Bible says where two or three are gathered is there in their midst. Why can't you call your family together and begin to pray in your own house? At this peculiar time, this is what we need. This is what we need. And as you are praying, don't forget to pray for his mercy. And as you do that, God Almighty will bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, let's pray. Father, we thank you, we bless you. We exalt you for who you are. We give you glory, we give you honor for your word that we have heard this afternoon. Father, help us not only hear your word, but be the doers of your word. Father in heaven, we need you like never like before. For you have said it, if you abide in us and we in you, you will make us prosper. You will lift us up, Father in heaven. We are depending on you. We are hoping on you. Father, come and do what you know how to do in our life. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. But before I go, I want us to pray. I want us to intercede for as many that is affected at this hour. I want us to pray, pray for his mercy. I want us to pray for his healing hand to rest upon all the nation upon the earth. That is our prayer this morning. Just open your mouth, begin to appreciate God wherever you are. Appreciate the almighty God in your life. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the life of your children. Thank God for the life of your family members. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Ah, thank God for he alone is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Thank him. Thank him for he alone deserves the times. Thank him for the wonderful thing that he has been doing in your life. Thank him for the one that he's doing right now. For the one is yet to do, appreciate him. Appreciate him for his mercy that endures forever. Appreciate him for the grace that is sufficient for me and you. Appreciate God for his blood that is shed for me and you. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. As we begin to ask for his mercy. Let the message of God begin to speak in our life. Begin to speak in our hope. Open your mouth. Turn into prayer. Open your mouth. Tell God, let your message speak in my life. Let your message speak in my home. Let your message speak in the life of my husband. Let your message speak in the life of my wife. Let your message speak in the life of my children. Let your message speak in, my, in, in, in the life of my family member in Nigeria, wherever they are. Let the message of God speak. Open your mouth and begin to ask for his mercy. 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 Open your mouth that the message of God will speak upon the earth. That the message of God will speak upon the earth. That the message of God will speak upon the land of Italy, upon the land of Germany, in Nigeria. Open your mouth. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy. Has God to have mercy upon Africa. Has God to have mercy upon Asia. Has God to have mercy upon Europe. Has God to have mercy upon America. Let the message of God speak and make our life and make our land better again. Make our country better again. Has God to have mercy and heal our land. Has God to have mercy and heal our land. Has God to have mercy and heal the land of Europe. Has God to have mercy and heal the land of Asia. Has God to have mercy and heal the land of America. Have God to heal the Africa. Let the healing of God rest upon the life of Africa. In every soul in Africa. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and begin to call upon the, God, the, the, the name of God. He is above the name is above every other name that is not like him. That is not to compare unto him. Before him there was none. After him there will be none. He is God that God by himself. Open your mind. Begin to declare the word of God. Begin to intercede for the nations. Inter sit for the nation. As you are doing that, God is protecting you. God is protecting your home. God is protecting your children. God is protecting your husband. God is protecting your loved ones. Open your mouth, begin to intercede. That as many that be affected this hour, wherever they are, many are sick, critically lying in the hospital. Open your mouth, begin to intercede. That the healing of the Almighty God rest upon them. That the healing of the Almighty God will go and rest upon them in that hospital bed. Let the healing of the Almighty God rest upon the people in Italy. Rest upon upon the people in Germany. Upon the people in. Nigeria. 
Nigeria, in Ghana, in Kenya, wherever they are in America, let the healing of the Almighty God rest upon them. Let the healing of the Almighty God rest upon them. Let the healing of the Almighty God rest upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, commit your own life into the hands of God. Ask for God protection upon your life. Ask for God protection upon your children. Ask for God protection upon your husband, upon your wife, upon your family member back home in Africa. Open your mouth, begin to ask God that God should build a water of fire around them wherever they are. That God should protect your family member wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Commit their life into the hands of God. Commit their life into the hands of God. Commit your own life into the hands of God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor for who you are. Let your healing power rest upon us all. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not be a victim. Our children will not be a victim. Our loved ones will not be a victim. We pray for our mothers, our father back in Africa. We ask for protection upon their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. There is no like you, Lord. There is no to compare to you. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let the people say, Amen and Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. And please, 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 remember... Even as we are here, we have opportunity to have sanitizer. We have opportunity to have. There are many people in the Africa that is, this is a time for us to show love. This is a time for us. If you have one error, it can save one person. One error to buy, um, um, one euro to buy sanitizer, it can save a soul in Nigeria. Please, this is a time for us to show love to our, us. Mostly our people in Africa, mostly our people in villages. That God Almighty, we protect you all. We protect your home. We protect all your family member in jesus name god bless you god bless you god bless you all till i come your way very soon pretty very soon god bless you do have a wonderful sunday god bless you in jesus name before i go be wise think wise reason wise and choose wise and as you do that god bless you have a blessed sunday bye all oh.